I feel like there has been so many good ports coming to mobile lately, and I wanted to share some of my favorite ports that I've played recently with you all. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below some of the ports that you really like, and let's get right into it. After Image recently released, and this is a Metroidvania game for Metroidvania fans. This has full controller support as well as customizable touchscreen controls, which is a rarity in this genre on mobile, so I was super impressed by that. And this game has such a large map, full of places to explore, it's just a beautiful game overall. The story is a little bit confusing, but aside from that, I love this game on Switch and it's just as good on mobile. It is dirt cheap, this is a must buy. I have a full video dedicated to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective on this channel, and for good reason. This is a story-driven experience with fantastic characters and a lot of clever puzzles throughout its entirety. It is so good, it's still overlooked to this day, and this is actually a newer re-release, so to speak, with upgraded visuals and things from the company itself. So if you haven't played this game, it's better than ever. You need to go download it right now, I highly suggest it. I thoroughly enjoyed playing through the entirety of What Remains of Edith Finch on mobile. I had never played it on any other platform, and this actually has controller support as well. Now beware, older devices kind of struggle with this one. This mobile port isn't as fleshed out or polished, but it really performed well on my device, and this was such an emotional roller coaster. I was so curious to see this through to the end, and it's one of those games you just think about long after you finish it. Ever since I heard and saw Slice and Dice, I thought it looked like it was meant to be on mobile, and now that it finally released on mobile, I am glad to say that I was correct. This game plays incredibly well on touchscreen, its tight gameplay loop is super addictive and perfect for pick up and play sessions, the replayability is absolutely nuts, and its price is super cheap. I truly believe mobile is the best way to play this, I will die on that hill. Last but not least, The Longing is a game that if you describe too much about it, it may ruin the experience for other people who are playing through it for their first time. And this game is so unique. Some of its concepts I've never seen done in a game before, especially when you combine those concepts together. It's such a special experience. I haven't even finished it yet, but I am looking forward to the end. It is so good. Just go download it. I don't want to ruin your experience. I'm not going to say anymore. All right guys, those are some mobile ports I've really enjoyed in the past. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below some mobile ports you think I should try out, and I may mention them in a future video. I love you guys, I hope you guys are staying safe, and take it easy.